What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Hey guys, it's Jesus Quesadilla. Welcome back to Let's Play Fable, The Lost Chapters. In the meantime, between episodes, I went ahead and upgraded my character's abilities with the experience that we gathered. I bought the healing spell like I recommended that you guys do as well, because we'll be needing it for the next quest. I also upgraded my character's monobar so that I have more to use as well as my physique, so I can now do more powerful swings with my sword. Alright, so without further ado, let's go ahead and take the next quest, which is a trader escort mission. So we're going to go ahead and take that. I won't be doing any boasts for this one because this is actually a little bit difficult with having to protect the traders if you don't have the healing ability, and even with it, it can be difficult if you're not careful in protecting them. So no boasting in this one. I guess you could say we're actually going to uh, try to be humble, but anyway, so we're going to run through here and go back towards where we were at that farm in the last quest. But before doing that, we're going to go ahead and say hi to our stoner buddies over here. So, hello stoner buddies and goodbye. Alright, so let's go ahead and go back through here. I'm going to actually have my armor equipped for this one, so we shouldn't be taking much damage considering we have chainmail armor and that's pretty good for this part of the game. You'll notice that this time coming through there are actually beetles instead of wasps. That's because when you upgrade your character, the game levels with you. So as you get progressively more powerful, the enemies, even in these starting areas, will also get more powerful so that you're never too offset in terms of being more powerful than your opponents. And you can also notice that there are more bandits here than before. They actually replaced a lot of the bugs with bandits here. I'm not going to clear out too many of them. I think I have enough experience for now. If I need more, I can always just grind off camera. So I'm just going to go ahead and run through, uh, try to avoid as many of these guys as I can. Alright, so you're just going to be following your map here. You should be able to see a golden circle directing you which paths to take. So it's pretty self-explanatory, nothing too important. Alrighty, and we're passing through here again. Like I said, make sure you have that health or healing spell equipped. That's going to be very important, and I'll show you why once we actually get to the traders. You're going to escort them once you get to a certain point. They aren't following you yet. We're going to meet up with them in Darkwood, which is a pretty nasty place if you go there unprepared. But I think we're pretty set. We're actually... I wouldn't say overleveled, although because all that time I spent gathering money, we do have... Uh, armor and weaponry that's a little more advanced than I think what the game would like me to have. But that's not really the point. I'm just here to show you guys what to do. So, alright, coming through here, I think you actually encounter a bandit camp here and you're presented with one of two options. Some bandits have set up a toll in this region. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so they've set up a toll here, and you can choose to either pay the toll and go through without any harassment, or they're going to threaten you that if you don't pay the gold, that they will react with hostility. And indeed, if you don't pay the toll, they will attack you. I don't want to waste my time attacking them right now. I might come back later on. Um, once they're a little bit easier to deal with and just clear them out and take whatever items they have because I think they actually have some good items here But for the time being I don't want to waste time with that. I just want to go ahead and complete the quest So I'm going to pay the toll. It's only uh, I think it was 400 gold, so it's not too bad Especially considering that uh I just got back from winning about 20,000. And really, if you're good at that concentration game, then gold is never a problem. There will be other pub games throughout um, in other towns that will also be showing off in this Let's Play, but my favorite is that concentration game just because it's so simplistic and the time they give you for it is just ridiculous. Uh, in that little time where I was getting the 20,000 gold, I didn't fail the game even once. So, it only took me about 10 minutes to get all that done. Alright, so just clearing out. I'd like to mention that these new enemies that you see, they're shooting magic at us, or they were before we killed them anyway. Those are called Hobbs. There are a couple different varieties of those, and for the most part, they're on the weaker side. There are casters, and there are ones that use hammers. Uh, I think we might actually run into... Yeah, you can see some of them have hammers instead of uh, magic wands. 
Like I said, we're not here to fight them. We're just going to run past enemies that we don't absolutely have to fight. And here we're actually going to start the real quest. We're going to encounter the traitors right about here. Thank Abo you're here! I thought we were going to die in this hellish place! We have to get to the Barrow Fields at the other end of Darkwood. You lead the way. We'll be right behind you. The All right. we put this forest behind us, the better. There are unnatural things Uh-oh, out there. that did not sound good. A little foreshadowing there. It sounded a bit like a howl, didn't it? Maybe a howl like a wolf would make? In Darkwood, you will find the Chapel of Scorm. All right, so once we come around here, we're... Whoa. I actually didn't know it showed that. That was a Balverine. Ah, help! Something bit me and left me for dead. Uh-oh. Please, let me come with you. Guy, you were kind of screwed. He's infected. He'll be eating our guts before we know it. We have sworn a traitor oath. We have to help him. Oh, damn traitor idea. oath. Not a good idea well, all. I th I think we're going to go ahead and help this guy out. I mean, if I was in his position, I'd want to be helped. So, yeah, why not? You can come along, buddy. Alright, so I'll caution you guys now. I'm going to go ahead and, small spoiler warning, he does eventually turn into a Balverine. That's the werewolf-like thing that bit him. And you will have to fight him at the end of this quest if you allow him to follow. If you choose not to let him follow, you get a lot of evil points. So if you're on a good path, you have to let him follow you. If you are on an evil path, though, then by all means, just tell him off and you'll get evil points for it. Alright, the thing with Balverines when you're fighting them is if you don't keep up a chain of, like, a combo of hits, then they'll jump away into the air where you can't attack them, and they'll always fall back down behind you. So, if one of them manages to escape me, then I always try and turn around so that my back is where the camera can actually see them land, if that makes any sense. Anyway, that was a Balverine that we just fought. Again, the weapons I have here are really powerful, so it didn't take long to take it out. These little mushrooms here, you want to go ahead and explode with your bow, because if you try and walk through them on your own, then as you get close to them, they'll explode and deal damage to both you and the traitors you're escorting. So take them out with your bow and clear the path for them to walk through. And that'll complete the first section of Darkwood. There are a couple more we have to go through before the quest is over. This one is actually going to contain bandits, I think. Yeah, here, the bandits are always going to try and run past you and try and attack the traitors, which is pretty annoying to deal with. But they never attack you in too big of a group. There's always, like, just two or three of them at a time. So they should be easy enough to deal with. This is where having the healing spell comes in handy. If a bandit manages to get past you and attack the traitors, then you might find yourself in a situation where one of them is close to dying. With the healing spell, you can bring their health bar back to full. If uh, a bandit manages to damage, it, to damage them, I'll go ahead and show that off for you guys. But I'm going to try my best not to let that happen. Oh, I take that back. It might happen right here. Alright, so... These bandits kind of broke through while I was trying to guard against them, and so I took them out with relative ease. If these traitors get too hurt, then I will heal them with my healing spell, just to make sure their health stays up. Alright, so I think... Are there any more bandits in this area? Or is that it? Oh no, there are a few over here. Yeah, um, bandits show up as red dots on the map, although I think in this area they don't, because they're in hiding. So, try and walk carefully. You actually have the mechanics to make the traders stop and rest, but I don't use it. I don't think it's necessary. And, alright, this is our halfway point. I'm actually going to leave the video off here because I don't think I'll be able to continue the whole quest by the end of my time limit. However, um, this is basically where you can have your traders heal up if they're in danger of dying. So, this will be the end of the video for today. In the next episode, I'll complete the trader quest and take them safely to Barrow Fields. So, once again, this has been Jesus Quesadilla. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you've enjoyed these videos. Peace.